as we speak right now, they are stimulating parts of our brain to find a safe zone of entry. You can see from the corner there, there's an orange iPad above the orange box. They're asking her words, they're stimulating, and to see how she responds. Okay. She's doing a fantastic job. This is simply amazing, yeah. <laughs> amazing to watch, and how calm and she, cool and and uh, th the two neurosurgeons told me Jenna was completely on board with this and completely invested right. in this. And boy, you can tell it right now. Yeah, it it is based on the patient completely. She was prepped yesterday. Oh, the monitoring crew went there yesterday, went through what the words would be and how the sequence of events would go. But all this is based on Jenna. She can move any of her arms and her legs if she wanted to, but we talked about not doing that before, uh, before the surgery to make sure she follows through and we can proceed with this to remove the lesion in a safe manner. And as she continues to go through the same words over and over again, maybe you can explain to folks, Dr. Patel, that her head is actually in, I don't know if clamp is the right word, but there, there are a lot of positioning and, and pre-work that went into this before she woke up and started talking, right? Right. The, what you can't see under the blue draping is that she's laying on her side. And with what we see with her ears up and what is holding her head is she's basically free-floating except a clamp yes. is basically pinching the front of her forehead and the back of her head. And that's holding her up. And Dr. Patel, what most people would think of as the what surgery, is? surgery part, the actual removal of this mass of, uh, of blood vessels, that really hasn't right. started yet, right? This is still the mapping process, and once she is done going through this sequence of words, right. that's when the surgeons will know exactly the path to take to get that lesion out. That's right. And they may keep her awake as she's as they remove the lesion, and I can't see it yet. But what I will say is I want to point out, you look at Dr. Graham and look at Dr. Mitchell's glasses. They have specialized glasses called loops. What it allows them to do is mag have magnified appearance of the blood vessels and areas of the brain while they're taking out the lesion. And is that, a, is that a light, as simple as a light on the front of there, um, or is that something else? No, that is exactly right. Both, both of them have a high-powered light in order to have so, more light than a typical room would give. And describe for us the mapping okay. process. Are they, what are they doing on the surface of the brain? Are they leaving little markers? Are they, what, what, how, does, how does something like that work? Maybe if we get a pan to the, uh, the GPS system that shows us where the lesion is, there's a map. On, we already know where the lesion is, and what they're doing is we just don't, we know physically where it is, we just don't know exactly what parts yeah. of the brain are eloquent or high priced real estate. And what they're doing now is they're stimulating, and if Jenna says it's okay, what they do is put a piece of paper of that is a safe zone. And so they make all these small little areas there with pieces of paper of go uh, with green or red, or everybody has their own different technique of where they can go, and then they'll approach the lesion through the safe zone. I'm sorry, Dr. Patel, did you say actually they put pieces of little paper on the brain? Well, yes, they'd be actually the sterile paper. Yeah, of course, yeah, but, but, yeah. but that's, that's how they do it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is anything bothering you at all? Just a couple areas of minor pause. Yeah, I don't know if that's where it And then the double vision. Yeah, I've, I've got a little swab for you. I can okay. give you something to, to rinse out your mouth just a little bit, okay? Okay. Pretty safe here overall, so. 